This segment will show you various steps for troubleshooting a computer that is performing slowly or stops responding. Spyware and malware are usually the cause of computer performance issues. These can be reduced or eliminated altogether through the use of antivirus software, anti-spyware malware software, or internet security software. If you do not have an antivirus application installed, it is strongly recommended that you download and install one immediately. There are many to choose from. Some are free and others are fee-based. We cannot recommend any third-party software, but some examples are AVG, McAfee, Super Anti-Spyware, and Malwarebytes. Also, Microsoft Security Essentials can be downloaded for free from www.microsoft.com. A trial version of an antivirus application is included with the purchase of your VIO computer. Please refer to your documentation for more information. Once downloaded and installed, perform a system scan on your computer for malware and spyware. Be sure to regularly update your software on a daily or weekly basis and run regular scans. To run a scan using Norton, on your computer desktop, click Start, then click Computer. Note that if you are running Windows XP, this will be on the desktop as an icon that says My Computer. In the Computer window, right-click the local disk C, select Norton Internet Security, then click Scan Now. Make sure there is only one antivirus program installed as having more than one may cause problems and decrease system performance. If scanning your computer for malware and spyware does not solve your computer performance issues, please try the following. Because each solution may resolve your issue, check your computer status after each step before continuing. Also, note that some possible solutions, including computer scans, can take an extended period of time to complete. Always close programs you are not using to conserve computer memory. If a program is not responding, you can close it using the Windows Task Manager. On the keyboard, press the Control, Alt, and Delete keys simultaneously. In the Windows Task Manager window, click the Applications tab. Select the application to close and click End Task. Programs listed as not responding should also be closed. Another way to speed up your computer is to prevent programs from loading automatically when the computer starts. On the computer desktop, click the Start button, then click Run. Note that Run might be located under the Program Files in the Accessories folder. In the Run box that displays, enter msconfig. You may be prompted for an administrator password or for user account control. When the System Configuration window displays, click the Startup tab. Click the checkbox next to any programs you do not want loading at startup and click OK. In the System Configuration dialog, click the Restart button. Removing unnecessary files, especially temporary internet files, from the hard drive using the disk cleanup utility can also help speed up your computer. On the computer desktop, click Start, click All Programs, click Accessories, click System Tools, and click Disk Cleanup. In the Disk Cleanup for C box, click to select the boxes next to Temporary Files and Temporary Internet Files. Select any other files and folders to delete, then click OK. A dialog displays asking if you are sure you want to delete these files. Click the Delete Files button. You may also choose to perform a system restore to return your computer configuration to a time when the computer had better performance. This procedure must be done while logged in as the administrator or logged in as a user with administrator rights. Note that while the System Restore procedure will restore the registry and other settings back to the date and time selected, no data is deleted, including saved documents, files, or email. On the computer desktop, click the Start button. Click All Programs, click Accessories, click System Tools, and then click System Restore. The System Restore window will then display. If it recommends a restore point that is acceptable, click Next. In the Confirm Your Restore Point window, click the Finish button. Your computer will be restored to the date and time selected, and the computer will then restart. 
You will also want to make sure your computer's operating system is kept up to date with the latest Windows updates. Make sure your computer is connected to the Internet. Start the Internet Explorer browser. In Internet Explorer, on the menu bar, click Tools. In the Tools menu, click Windows Update. After Windows Update scans your computer, verify that at least the critical updates are selected to be downloaded and installed. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. Performing these steps on a regular basis will keep your computer running quickly and free from problems.